grandma and grandpa's house. Okay, we're going to Vancouver for the night, um, just for our friend's birthday party. First, we're dropping Gia off. She's somewhere back there at my parents' place. And then we're gonna hop on Hella Jet just to pop over for like less than 24 hours. brunch with my friend Emma and Jay is gonna go off to suit fittings with the boys and then um, we'll see where the day takes us. Not really sure what else. Party. We'll party tonight. Dinner tonight. But we don't know what's between that now and then. Hi. <laughs> We're vlogging. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, live taste test. <laughs> okay, this is dried pomelo. Do you want to try one? Yeah. It's like the skin and all, which oh. is really weird. But I feel like it's gonna be so good. I'm sure they add sugar to this. Oh. 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 Can I go this way? I don't know. Oh, you're in a bike lane. Mmm. I like it. Oh, it's sour. It's good. It's really good. It's a bang. It's a hit. Mmm. The skin is interesting. It's really weird to have the skin. What? This is dry. This is the weird thing. This isn't dried pomelo. This is dried pomelo skin. Because the skin on pomelo is so so thick. It probably is. So like, look, like that's where you peel off, right? Yeah. Totally. I mean, it tastes good. Good. I'm sure it's full of nutrients. I think it's actually good to eat the skin of things like that. Mm -hmm. mm. The fact that I even have this. It tastes like candy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> God. 
There she goes. There she goes. Okay, that's a hit. Smash. Okay. Persian. What is it? Delight? Yeah, Persian Delight. Am my eyebrows too dark? No. Oh, dark in this. Mm. No. Mm. Pass. The full rose petals in it are throwing me off for mm -hmm. sure. I would say this is definitely not the best thing I've ever had. What bridge is this? Alright. We are just back at the hotel right now, getting ready. Well, I'm pretty much ready to go. And we're gonna head out to Burnaby, to our friend's place. First, I think we're gonna stop in and see if we can go get a bar spot at Nightingale and just have like a quick snack and a drink. We did dry January, and so this will be the first drink. I did have one drink in, or a couple drinks in Florida, but other than that, I haven't been drinking this month, so this will be the first drink that we've had in a while, and Jay's done the whole month, so actually, no. He had a drink this morning, but he went until today, so he did a really good job. Um, but I'm wearing just a black corset, um, a little black cardigan, and then cargo pants, and then I'm going to wear a Converse, and I did my hair in kind of like a wave today, which I like, and makeup is just my usual. So yeah, this is our view from our window. Nice city view. Staying at the Marriott Pinnacle. I've stayed here a ton of times. It's a decent hotel and it's nice and close to where the uh, Helijet drops us off. So that was nice. And there's also a shuttle that takes us there. So it was nice to not have to pay for an Uber or anything. And we get a special deal here. So um, we're happy to be here and we're excited. Oh, and the flowers. I got Rachel some flowers for her birthday. Her birthday's not until the 31st, but I, oh, that's her card that just fell, but I picked her up some flowers for tonight. And, oh, I lost an earring. The struggle, there we go. Very fall or winter drink. It is. Kimchi. I like kimchi and it's cool. Rate it. Out of ten. That's an eight and a half. Just running back up to the room because I forgot the flowers. I need mean, to bring those. Oh. Hello. morning we just woke up we're obviously feeling a little rough I'm sure you saw the night um, I'm gonna go to body energy club and get a smoothie and Jay's just meeting a client right now so um, yeah we're just getting ourselves packed up here we don't have much time because we're taking the helijet back to Victoria um, in a couple hours so 
I'm just gonna go out, get outside, go for a little walk, get a smoothie, and pack up. And that's basically it. So. So I picked up this gua sha actually at a crystal shop this weekend when I was in Vancouver. And I just love like the coloring of it. Um, and I also like that it has these three little ridges because you can kind of really get in there. My last one broke and this one's way thicker. So I feel like it'll be way better. It'll last longer. I also just picked up these two little crystals just for fun. Um, but I wanted to kind of go in depth a little bit more because I did end up organizing this whole bathroom section. So um, I'll just kind of show you what I did. And I'll start with this side. So this is Jay's side. He has all his shaving stuff in this little bin. This is extra Q-tips. Um, and then this is all his contact stuff. And then this is smells and like lotions. So that was like a disaster before. And then I put like things that he uses every day. So face stuff, usually I'll put like his hair stuff there contacts that he's wearing right now in there. Um, and then I organized this one too. So this was a disaster and you couldn't really reach anything because this, the way I had it, like this, the bins were stacked on top of each other. So you had to move a bunch of stuff to get it. So um, I obviously like have tampons in there, toilet paper. Um, this is like shaving slash waxing things, steamer. This is uh, like pills and stuff. It kind of was like a tight fit there, but sunscreen bug spray like more medical stuff um and then all of our teeth stuff so flossers extra toothbrushes whitening and mouthwash and then extra shampoo conditioner and then on my side i'll just kind of show you in here but so this is like hair stuff slash tools so tweezers this is an another gouache i actually forgot i had but this one is like very thin and like a weird texture so it doesn't really glide on your face very well so I never really use it so I don't know what I should do with that but um and then per extra perfumes in here that I don't use on the daily because I have my other ones that I use more frequently there and then I keep my makeup bag in this so that it can close this is a little travel case um Actually, this is another travel thing that should go down there. This is a little mini of my fake tanner. This is another tanning stuff, another tanning stuff. This is actually out. I keep it there. And then in here, like I said before, these are kind of things I use more on the daily. This is some um, hydrocortisone cream, like Voltaren, things like that. Um, Polysporin in here, another hydrocortisone some vitamin E, some eye masks, or eye, whatever these are. Are they called considered eye mask? Eye patches. Um, K18, this is an empty, or a full bottle that I haven't opened yet. Setting sprays, water sprays, and then a body lotion. Then I keep my brush and my comb here. And then, again, more things that are less um, space related, I guess. So, well, this is face related. And here are more things that are just kind of like, again, everyday things, more hair stuff, dry shampoo. I really like this dry shampoo. I got it in a kit um, and I'm really, I, I don't love the smell, but I love how it works. Heat protectant, um, this stuff, you've just kind of seen it, but, and then I have the other not used or not um, finished K18 there. Um, I grabbed some headbands the other day just from the drugstore because I was kind of feeling like trying out that look. And then contact stuff, fake eyelashes, and then all my little packets of samples I've been keeping in there. So when I need to just grab them, I can grab them. And then just back down to the final drawer. This one is all of my to-go travel items. These are A lot of these are empty containers, but I can fill them up if I need to. Um, this is all my hair tools in here. These are all my tanning and body products. And my number one tanner is this stuff, which I actually get on Amazon and it's for a spray tan machine. But I mix it half with water and then I put it in a pump like this and use it with a mitt. And it's the most flawless color and application. I just love it. Yeah, so that's kind of that.